welcome our latest honoree, Greg Landry. I have to claim too many head injuries. I don't remember <laughs> Lou Kerouac. I don't know. I don't remember who he was. <laughs> but, thank you. But I wanted to thank you all for coming this evening. One of the great tributes to the city of Detroit is an example right here. We've got a cause that we're trying to to look at and build and try to help out. And I look and see all you people in Detroit, and that's one of the reasons. And the 11 years that I played in Detroit and why I retired in Detroit is that you really help the less fortunate. I really want to thank you all for coming this evening. Uh, I think Tom Nowatsky and Mark Lewis did a great job of getting this thing started years ago where there was only 100 people and now we're over 700. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have that autograph session and hopefully that'll be a lot more people will be there so we'll continue to to grow with some money to help the less fortunate football players that played during our area uh, back in the 60s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Uh, I did want to thank Mark Lewis again and Tom Nowatsky for getting this thing started in Detroit. And uh, they've done a great job. And uh, my former coach, uh, Mike Ditka, did a great job in getting this whole thing started to help a lot of the less fortunate pro players uh, who, who really, really started this game and uh, are in a little bit of trouble now. The only thing I wanted to tell you a couple of things. One is that I feel like I'm very blessed because God blessed me with two families. I have my own family who have come here this evening and I'd like to introduce like my son Greg and Joe are here. My daughter Mary is here and her friend Vic Gordon and uh, my friend for, uh, best friend for 36 years, Janine. Uh, are here this evening and the second family is my football family and my immediate one is Detroit where I spent 11 years and uh, I see Lem and, and Charlie Charlie Sanders and I were teammates together we came in together in 1968 and uh, we had a, just a, a great career and, and uh, now we're still friends here, it is like 40 years later and we're still friends with Lem and a lot of the other, I saw a lot of the other Detroit Lion players who also appreciate uh, this city and what it offers pro, player, pro players. The one thing I want to do, uh, just talk to you about, I know it's, a, it's, it's an intense night for talking about the problems that we have, but I just wanted to relate one story that I had when I was a rookie. And uh, a couple years before I came to the Lions, I grew up in the state of New Hampshire. Didn't know I had a, a New England accent. But there was a guy that came to Detroit named George Plimpton. And who wrote the book Paper Lion about the Lions. And he came, he was a graduate of Harvard. And uh, he came as a quarterback. And he, that was his tryout. And after the first days, I guess he had trouble taking a snap from center, had trouble throwing the football. But everybody remembered that uh, Harvard accent there, Pak Yaka and Harvard Yad. <laughs> and when they found out he was a writer, everybody kind of laughed him off and uh, said it was great. And of course, he went on and, and, and starred in that movie or wrote that movie. Well, two years later, in 1968, the Detroit Lions, in the 11th pick in the first round, picked Greg Landry from Massachusetts, a quarterback. And so when I came to Detroit, I initially stopped over and played in the college all-star game with Charlie Sanders and Earl McCullough. And uh, I didn't have a car, so I had to bum a ride from Charlie to get to training camp. But when I got to the training camp, I just figured, you know, I'm the quarterback and they need a quarterback and, uh, you know, I'm the rookie, number one draft pick. They're going to treat me real great here. I'm going to be the star of the team and all this. And I had all these visions in my mind. And about the first day of practice, and we get into a team drill, and we start, I started calling this cadence, and of course, with the New England accent of, uh, instead of the number four, you would say foa, and you wouldn't have a silent R. So I'm barking out this cadence, and all of a sudden, I, I holler out this number foa, 
And all of a sudden, everybody started laughing, and I'm wondering why they're laughing at me. And uh, right in front of me was Alex Karras, who was a defensive tackle. And he turns around when the laughter subsided, and he says, I'll be a son of a bitch. We drafted another George Plimpton. <laughs> so that was my introduction to the Detroit Lions back in 1968. Uh, in closing, I just want to thank you people for your generosity. And thanks uh, for the recognition that the Gridiron Greats has given me this evening. It's a, it's a great honor, and I'll cherish that always. Thank you.